hello welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before hello <laughs> i'm in the spare room at the moment and i'm in here because i like raided this room yesterday and it's just like a breath of fresh air i'm gonna be doing a review but i'm gonna turn it into like a bit of a pamper session like a sunday reset kind of video i love watching these videos i love watching people do like their everyday not everyday routine because like this is going to be a bit of a pamper. I definitely don't do this every night. I seriously probably do it only like a couple times a week. If that, I normally define as like my Sunday reset is to wash hair, exfoliate your body, do your skincare like your in-depth skincare. Just make yourself feel fresh, like you're ready for the new week ahead um, and things like that. So it's basically my plan <laughs> and I'm going to be reviewing Loom tan lume tan i'm not really sure how like what the correct correct pronunciation is but nonetheless it is gorgeous oh my god i think i fixed my camera it's auto focusing again i'm really happy about that um but yeah so i'm going to be reviewing this product so normally i would try out a product before i was to film with it but i thought this would be a good opportunity to do like a first impressions because i don't really do them that often and this is what the little bottle looks like oh my god it's actually focusing it's so good it looks gorgeous i love little dropper applicators they just make you feel so fancy so i'll be featuring these a bit later in the video i won't do my skincare until what am i gonna do what's the order gonna be i have to like really think these things out so First thing is to have a shower, wash my hair, exfoliate, epilate my legs, skincare, but not use these until I fake tan a bit later. So I'll catch you guys a bit later when I do try these out or when I'm doing something else. Update. Oh, a bit of a spoiler on another video I'm filming. I've not moved from my desk. It's been like half an hour since I filmed that little clip of seeing... I'm going to go and shower and stuff, but I literally can't be bothered. <laughs> so I'm just going to watch another video um and yeah other people doing self-care and then it might motivate me to go and do my own maybe hi um yeah so as you can see i've had a shower i've washed my hair i have not done my skincare my skin looks disgusting i've just put my hair in like a really big t-shirt and like secured it with a scrunchie if you can see that i mean if i move it's just gonna fall apart but I've come in here to epilate my legs because I get like cramps when I stand up for too long and like on one leg. I don't know. I'm like a freaking 70 year old woman um, with leg problems apparently. I like tried to get my tan off but I realized I didn't get like anything off which is cool. I'm going to epilate my legs, well do my skincare and hopefully not look like this the next time I speak to you. I'm going to leave my hair like this for a little bit, let it like dry a bit and then I'm just going to pop it in some plaits I think. Um, and let it like air dry. Normally I'd like use the hair dryer to like dry it a little bit, but I decided not to. Wow. My skin's looking a bit crap. That's it for now. I don't know why I'm procrastinating, especially when I look like this while I'm talking. But I'll catch you guys later. Bye. So I just took my hair out of the t-shirt. As you can tell, it's like really flat. But it's like really dry. Like not like obviously like dry dry, but this t-shirt soaked up a lot of... um moisture is that like a gross way to describe it um and i just epilated my legs it always hurts so freaking much and then i realized i forgot like a patch of hair once i like start tanning i'm like i don't care like i'm not showing my legs to anyone it's literally to film another video i'm gonna go brush my hair now with like a wet comb and put some oil in it and then i might put it in plaits um and do my skincare so Let's go do that. Also, I think I might have convinced my boyfriend to get another takeaway tonight, which we definitely don't need. Um, but I'm just, cause like normally Sunday nights are pizza night, like homemade pizza. Whoa, I definitely don't need another takeaway. Um, that chin. Yeah, it's only pizza night. I'm just a bit off homemade pizza right now. Like I really just wanted to make like a thick pizza dough, like a really yummy one, but I didn't buy any ingredients. So kind of set myself up for that one. So yeah, I think we might get Indian. I'm not sure. Anyway, bye. Okay, I think I finally worked out a good position for the camera to be in when I come back and film. But I thought I would just update you guys and let you know that the Indian takeaway that we ordered is on its way. It's going to take quite a while. Um, even though I've like taken 500 years to set this camera up, I'm going to go tan. 
um and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna try out the tan drops so i will see you guys when i'm back bronze i'm so pale right now even though this light doesn't really make me look that pale thanks maybe because it's like yellow but yeah um i will see you in a sec okay i am back just tanned my hair looks amazing <laughs> it's still not dry it's all flicky anyway this is the last step of my, well, before I indulge in my Indian takeaway, which is like really close to being here. Well, it said it should have been here at 6.30 and it's 6.18 and there's no update still. It just says preparing your order and I'm starving. But anyways, I'm going to try the Loom Tanning Drops now. I'm going to take it out of the package. Basically what I'm going to do is I've taken this little just powder. Oh my God, all the powder's coming whoopsie because it says add one to six drops into your favorite moisturizer or serum mix together and massage evenly into the face and or body the glow will appear over the next 20 over the next two to four hours so basically i wanted to oh yeah it says on the side of the box know your glow the droplet system allows a personalized tan and freedom to tailor your needs it is as simple as the more drops equals the darker the glow. One to two drops equals radiant, three to four equals golden, and five to six equals bronze. Your glow will develop in two to four hours. I wanted to see... Oh yeah, it has some beautiful ingredients, right? It has uh, raspberry seed oil, aloe vera, um, vitamin E, and it also doesn't contain SPF. So don't use this as like a... Um, SPF a sunscreen because you can actually mix it with your sunscreen which I think is a great idea because sometimes I don't want to wear makeup um, but I want to have like a bit of a glow and then adding sunscreen is obviously a really important thing to do in your skincare anyways I'm just gonna be taking my normal moisturizer which is the CeraVe moisturizing lotion um, and then I'm gonna be taking the Loom tan drops really hope that's focusing because it's going to be annoying if it's not there we go so like i said i'm going to take it and um add one to six drops into my moisturizer so i'm just going to pump some moisturizer on here and then i'm going to hopefully i'm going to put you down here ignore my onesie is that good over here why did i put it so close to the edge so I'm going to take the little dropper. I never know how to properly work these. So one, two, and then I'm just going to take the end of like a spoolie and just kind of mix it all together. So I've just taken some and I'm just going to pop it all over my face. Make sure you spread it evenly as well. <laughs> freaking see my onesie i'm just going to take it down to my neck as well and in my hairline that is really important and there we go and i've used like basically all of it that was on there and that was the perfect amount for my whole face i'm unsure why it kept overexposing me in that last clip but i ended up using about four ish drops of the self tan drops and as you can see, this is obviously artificial lighting. I am doing this at night time. So I thought a good idea would be to show you guys the result in the morning. That'll obviously give it more than four hours. So I thought that would be probably like a good test. Obviously, it's not going to go too dark. Like it's going to kind of stop developing after the four hours, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, I like anything that requires like minimal effort. Like I don't have to worry about washing it off after a certain time so it doesn't go too dark, etc. So yeah. I thought I would, yeah, I think it would be better if I showed you in sunlight rather than artificial lighting as the final result. Hello everyone, it is now the next day. It is 7.43 and I start work in like 15 minutes. Um, but I wanted to pop on and give you guys a little update on my skin after applying the tanning drops last night. What the heck? I am so impressed. I thought it would give me like a bit of a bronze look, even though it said like, like how many drops will determine how bronze you go. But I am so impressed. I ended up using about like f probably five to six um, drops and that was like the darkest it will go. So it's the bronze color. Guys, I'm so impressed. I was blown away this morning when I woke up. Um, it definitely makes my like neck 
blend in with my well my face blend in with my neck um literally all i've done this morning is popped on some mascara and some moisturizer after i washed my face i didn't cleanse it or anything just because i didn't want it to like take away from the actual effect when i showed you guys normally i would probably cleanse my face and give it a bit of a clean um but nonetheless my face feels so soft and because of the ingredients that i told you guys about last night it just makes your skin feel so nourished and hydrated and i'm really really impressed i think i've said that about 20 times but yeah i am blown away i love finding tanning products that are so easy and simple to use and just have a really great effect um i think this also would be really good if you're because I don't know about you, but my tan starts to fade really quickly on my hands, and you can really tell. Um, so I think this would be a great product to use on your hands as well when it starts to fade, because obviously you wash your hands, we're using hand sanitizer and everything, and because it's nourishing as well, it'll make your hands soft and smooth. But that is where I'm going to leave it, because I tend to ramble on heaps when I'm trying to do these outros. just get nervous. But I just want to say thank you so much again to Loom Tan for sending out this beautiful product. As I said, I will leave everything linked below. I'm going overexposed. I This camera will be the death of me, I swear. So yeah, definitely go check it out and um, give it a go. Go check out their Instagram as well if you like are unsure still from this video. Thank you guys again, and I hope to see you in my next video.